In this video, we'll talk about the implications of accepting unlawful employment while in the United States. How can it impact your future green card or your status in the US? Watch this video and learn more. So in this video, we'll talk about adjusting status after unlawful employment. And we get a lot of questions and people are really worried about this. But before we talk about this, I want to ask you to please subscribe to our channel, click that bell to be notified when new videos come up and share, comment, uh, recommend to a friend. We, we, we're doing this to spread the knowledge, to spread information so then you are more empowered to continue with your immigration journey in the United States. And also, if you are on Instagram, I'll be happy if you follow me on Instagram. We have two accounts, my personal where we share stories, um, pictures and our video accounts where we put more short version videos of what we do here on YouTube. Let's dive in right into this video. So, unlawful employment. What is unlawful employment first? So unlawful employment is any person who accepts employment outside of their authorization. So if you don't have a visa to work, if you are here on a tourist visa or a student visa and you perform any kind of employment, which is outside of your visa, you're unauthorized to take employment. In some cases, even unpaid employment could be considered as unauthorized. There is a whole definition in the INA, Immigration Nationality Act, of what is unauthorized employment. It could be employment that happened before your last entry, maybe years ago. It's employment that you've taken before you filed for adjustment of status, before you got your work permit, all these things are considered to be unauthorized employment and it can impact a person's ability to adjust status. Right now, there are a lot of people who go through interviews as they go to get their green card through employment. I-140 is filed and approved an adjustment of status. In many, 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 in many of those cases, people either get denied or put on hold because they find unauthorized employment in the history of the applicant. Either it shows on their tax returns, or they verbally admit it, or they find out in another way that that person accepted employment while they were not supposed to be working, they were not authorized. But what happens when you are in fact deemed to be unlawfully uh, employed or, or have some unlawful employment history in your record? There are certain exceptions to the rule. If you have an immediate relative who is filing for adjustment, so if you marry your citizen, a spouse, if you are um, if you have a child who is a U.S. citizen, so you're a parent of a U.S. citizen, or if you have a child under 21, those are the exceptions, we call this the immediate relative exception to the rule. So if that person, if you worked um, without authorization, and then you marry a U.S. citizen, for example, at that point, that will be waived at the interview. Another exception is if you are a beneficiary of a Violence Against Women's Act, a WAWA, uh, recipient, those can also be exempt from the unlawful authorized employment and still be able to adjust their status. Certain physicians and their families who are immigrating are also exempt from this. Certain um, U.S. service members who are in the military and they're in the process of getting their adjustment of status are also exempt from the unauthorized employment uh, rule. So again, typically people who are caught uh, or, or you know deemed working without authorization will have a difficulty to adjust their status unless they fall within the rule, within, 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 unless they fall within the exception, which we mentioned immediate relatives, spouse or parent of a U.S. citizen or child under 21 and um, the recipient of the Violence Against Women Act approvals and certain uh, armed forces, uh, military personnel who are going through the immigration process. Those are exceptions. And so again, if you are, have issues with un unlawful um, employment, there are things you can do to rectify it even while you're here before adjusting your status. It is important to uh, consult with an experienced immigration attorney to determine when employment was unauthorized, if it was unauthorized, and then make a decision how to approach uh, this particular case. Hopefully this was helpful. Make sure you um, leave me a comment, ask a question, happy to answer and let us know what other videos you'd like for us to make for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.